ruined. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Let's go back to the 2000s, because what a time it was, where we could stuff a bunch of music into tiny rectangles, social media was starting, anime was on the rise, and the rap industry was being led by a white guy. And of course, the 2000s were also known for the time of the age! Yeah, during this time, there was just a lot of stuff that tried to be HARDCORE and COOL. Mainly on the internet. From animations, to games, literature, Sonic OCs, the edge was everywhere. But looking back at it, since it has been a few years, what do I think of it now? <laughs> Look, let's be honest, Edge was dumb. It was just a power fantasy influenced by media at the time. Like The Matrix, Berserk, Spawn, you name it. And now I just look at it and laugh on how hard it tried to take itself seriously. Like, jeez guys, really? Which leads to today's subject for this video. The Flash animated series called Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom. This four-part series was created by one Randy Solom from 2003 to 2005 that attempted to make an extreme and dark story with Mario. Yeah. Originally, this entire video was going to be a sort of flash animation compilation with this featuring in it, but I decided to make this its own video. Why? Cause we got some history. Long ago, when Davy Cavi was at his baby age of... 10, he once learned of a cool action series from one of his neighbors that starred his favorite Mario character, Luigi. <coughs> the young Davy said, hey, that sounds pretty cool, and went online to find it, with the help of his cousin who shall be named, uh... Dexter. Yeah, let's go with that. The two found the videos, and they watched the first half of this magical series that they've heard about. Then they immediately cried their asses off for the entirety of the day. This in turn left a traumatic memory in the Davy Cavy that will haunt him for the rest of his life. Until now! So, are you ready to see something that made me cry all those years ago? Well, too bad, we're doing it anyway, let's go! The series starts off with a normal day in the Mushroom Kingdom. Its hero, Mario, starts the day with some good stretches and... This was peak 2000's comedy. It's all downhill from here. Anyway, the day seems to be going swell. Until... Wait, what? Well, Super Mario's freaking dead. Happy 35th anniversary, Yahoo! And this doesn't even pull any punches. The scene is melancholy and slow. Everybody's in tears. They have a shot where the casket slowly drops and a flower just lands on it. And did I mention this is all done with titanic music in the back? Jeez, don't you think this is a little too much for Mario? Come on. But now Luigi is pissed, and so he decides to start a raid against the one person supposedly responsible. Dennis Hopper! Wait, no, that's not right. I mean... Bowser! 
But before we can get into the meat of things, I just want to mention this right now. The animation's really damn good. Like, I'm genuinely impressed that this level of animation can be done in 2003. It's so smooth and natural. The movement is so fast, and the characters look like they have weight to them. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, the raid begins. Two toads sneak into a couple of bushes and... Jesus Christ! However, it's not long until Bowser finds out about the storming of his castle, with the best expression of... Uh? Uh? Meanwhile, cut to Luigi sneaking around the castle as he stumbles upon a rave and yep, mm-hmm, yep, this is the 2000s alright. Yes! In order to get through, he needs to find a power-up to help him sneak across. I just saw a Goomba get devoured by a baby. Luigi finds a Tanuki suit and moves on. Now we see a battle on the bridge and... Dearest Lord! But now we get to the climactic battle. Luigi versus Bowser. And it is good. I mean, for early 2000s fan animation, the fight is really well choreographed, edited, and the setting is so good it helps set the intense mood of it. And of course, you can't forget the Grungy's 2000 music. <laughs> it's just <laughs> moisture. But in the end, Bowser is sent packing and the day is won. Now the Mushroom Kingdom goes back to normal. But not before Luigi visits his brother's grave and now I remember. This was the moment I broke down crying. I see, so the true culprit was worth the whole time! Bowser died for nothing. I actually never seen the second part of this series, mainly because it wasn't finished until later, and why would I do that? It traumatized me to hell! But now that I'm a man, child, I can finally finish what I started years ago. Let's go! So it turns out the last part was all a dream. Hmm. But it was a dream that could possibly come true. So Luigi dashes to get to Mario in time. And with the help of a time stopper, he is able to save his brother. Okay, yeah, no more dancing around this topic, let's talk about the violence. This is just angsty teen levels of violence and darkness. I thought the funeral scene was a bit too much, but then you see Yoshi's just viciously eat people. They get shot, stabbed, squashed, burned. There's just so much blood to the ceiling, to the walls. But for some sick reason. That's kind of funny. It's kind of like Mortal Kombat. Whenever you pull off a fatality and go, oh, It's just way too over the top to be taken seriously, and the fact that it's using all Mario characters getting ripped apart and seeking vengeance. I just can't stop laughing at it. It's just so... ultra-violent. Anyway, 
Now Luigi's freaking dead, and now Mario is pissed. May I remind you this is super goddamn Mario? This guy. This fog is thicker than mushroom soup. Did someone say soup? I'll have mine with a double order of spaghetti. Cut to the princess, where she learns about Luigi's death, and instead of holding a funeral, she goes off on a flying Yoshi to get a one-up. So what you're telling me? That he could have done this from the start. Why the f did you hold a field? <laughs> but let's just get back to Mero. What is he doing? Let's go! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. After some very impressive animation scenes and an emotional moment, Jesus Christ already, we finally get to the man behind it all. Wart. And he. Oh, for God's sakes. I have to say, the fight scene is just as good as the last one. Just seeing Mario pummel the hell out of him and his goons is just so damn good. Of course, Wart flees the battlefield, and Mario gives chase. It, is that Wart ass? IS THAT Wart ass?! Let's just move on to the last bout. In the beginning of this fight, Mario gets a clean hit off Wart. However, Wart gains the upper hand and traps Mario in a bubble. And now he's about to fall to his impaling death. Jesus Christ, not again. The Mario Bros finally team up against Wart and throw him into his own machine. With the help of the Fire Flower, they cause the machine to explode and leaving Wart into tiny, tiny meat chunks. Cause we can't end this thing without being needlessly violent. And finally, after all that, the Mario Brothers and the Mushroom Kingdom can celebrate their victory. Alive and well. This video had a different outcome than I thought. Like... I thought I was gonna bash on this thing like, oh, look at the edgy and dumb thing. So aged poorly. Oh my goodness. But, surprisingly, it didn't age. It's dated, but not aged. The animation is beyond impressive. It doesn't feel like other Flash animations at the time. You can just see the effort and passion that is just throughout the entire thing. And yeah, I went through this entire thing just going, Guys, this is Super Mario we're talking about. You need to take it from a 20 to a 2. But you know, it's all in good fun, because unlike most things that are considered edgy, this series doesn't take itself too seriously. Because, you know, if the farts didn't give it away. Which just kind of adds to the fun of this series, because it's just stupid, ultra-violent, and just enjoyable. I highly recommend you check the full thing out when you get a chance. I, I'm actually glad I could visit something that affected my childhood and see that it holds up. However, this story doesn't have a happy ending. On March 2012, the creator Randy Solomon passed away due to heart failure. And, you know, wherever you are... Wherever you've gone, I hope you rest in peace.
It's sad to learn with someone with talent and passion is taken away from us too early. But it's also good to know that he'll still be remembered to this day. Even if one of those reasons is some guy with childhood trauma is talking about it on the internet. But whoo hoo boy, that ended on a downer note. I'll do more Flash animations at some point, so be on the lookout in the future. And if you like this video, you can always subscribe for more, uh, rate 5 stars, uh, and some other old YouTube reference, uh, I can't remember it, it's been a while guys. And I'll see you on the next video, which will be on something else. Until then, I'll end this with an early 2000s catchphrase. And that catchphrase is... Crunk. Yes, that was a word we used.